So my presentation today is uh, about my project in Google Summer of Code under Joomla category, the Jamin or Joomla Magento integration. This project is under the supervision of uh, mentor Jan McLennan. This is the agenda of today. First, we're going to start off with the introduction. So we all know that Magento is a great e-commerce solution or an award-winning uh, project in the last two years. And although it has um, great CMS features, but it's still lack of a decent CMS feature. As if you have experience with Magento before, you'll see that. And Joomla, on the other hand, is a very powerful and number one CMS, one of the best CMS uh, projects out there in the PHP com open source community. So the purpose of this project is to integrate Magento and Joomla so that we have a, an e-commerce, a CMS, plus the bridge, and we have a complete solution of a website. Basically, it is to fulfill the needs of the e-commerce users. So the overview of uh, this Jamin project is first it's for all of those who are not um, used to Google Summer of Code. This is free and Jamin is licensed under two licenses because part of Jamin is uh, are the ex extensions on the Joomla side and the other the rest is uh, on the Magento side. The main features from the beginning we focus we are, we start we focused on just the back end features but finally I managed to implement the front end features. Um, mm -hmm. Main features include user synchronization, user management, single sign on the back end integration or Magento admin panel integration and the front end integration. But the front end part is just very um, not a, not full integrated right now. And the core tool is we use SOAP communication between the Joomla and Magento side and we use uh, curl for front end integration. The requirements in order to run this Jamin is first you need to have two sites, Joomla and Magento, up and running. We support currently until the latest versions of Joomla 1.5.14 and Magento 1.3.23. Um, however, on the Joomla, you have to turn on the SEF URLs feature. And however, on the Magento, you have, you have to turn off this feature. And on both servers running uh, Joomla and Magento, you have to enable curl. Uh, Jamin supports cross domain, so you can have uh, Joomla on a, a different domain and Magento on another one. About how to turn off this uh, SEF feature of Magento, I'll show you in the user guide. But actually, it's just uh, a configuration in, in Magento. Actually, the SCF is not totally turned off. Now comes the main part of the presentation. The features of Jamin first. We basically, I'll cover six main features of Jamin. First, the control panel. Share browser. Right now, first I have the Joomla site located at jamin.info slash Joomla and the Magento is on another domain. Like this, 